Hello, Gentle Viewers. This is of Indian, welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 19. Um, let's go ahead and send you guys straight to the minors. Did somebody literally take John Ullman again and then give him back to me? I believe that's a second time in a row. That is really rough. That's got to, like, destroy his confidence. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get a chance to play. And they were like, nah. He's like, oh. So our roster is more or less set. Although we do have an interesting quandary about what to do with Pat Bone. I do think we'll give him one more year to prove himself in AAA. But he's got a lot of assets right now, and I think he's not far from actually making the Major League roster. Especially since we only have one outstanding outfielder, which is Don Mattingly. And Gene Gentile's not bad. And Tony Walker is kind of there. Let's see how we did last season, shall we? Oh, we did that, we did that last season, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We've already set the roster... I'll reset the pitching staff. It's just a matter of time of seeing what we can accomplish. Now we do have Raleigh Fingers back in a few weeks. And then we'll get John Morris back. Our number one draft pick. Who performed adequately last season. So I think without further ado. I don't know what to think about this season. I genuinely don't know what to think about our chances. Just because last season so much went right and we didn't really add much. I mean, I don't think we had Joe Price last season. Oh, we did. And Joe Price is kind of shitty, so... I'm carrying three catchers. Is there another position? How many pitchers do I have? I have 11. How many extra middle infielders do I have? I have Lubertich and that's it. Let's see. Starting, starting, starting... Starting, starting. I could use another middle infielder. I mean, Jay Grubb's a kind of terrible hitter, though. What do I do with my extra roster spot? We do need a middle infielder. Jeff Lawson is only third base. I don't know what to say at the moment. Unless it's just we just let Jay Greb have a roster spot. I think that's what we will do. Because he might eventually improve his offense enough to be respectable. And I'll go ahead and regenerate the lineups based on this. Oh, really? You're doing that again? Yeah, I know what's happening here. We'll just have to not click down there for a bit. Tony Walker is such a good defense center fielder, I'm willing to give him a fair shot. But yeah, you'll notice this is because of um, the window didn't size quite right. Um, game setting. Now I need settings. Here we go. So I'm just going to quickly change to windowed and then change back to full screen.
Nope, there's still that one area. Oh, well. Well, I think now's a good time to go ahead and just begin the season, and then we'll see what happens after that. John Morris is going to be out for another month. Um, we got Hubbard to sign a bit longer. Dick Schofield wants a shit ton more money. I'm going to give him a bit more money because I really don't want to have to deal with arbitration each year with him. If we buy the cheap guys out now, that'll still let us make a splash as we need to. Oh, yeah. Don Mattingly. I forgot we'd made all those contract extension offers. And there goes Dick Schofield. Less exciting for the fans, maybe, but still pretty good. can have John Morris back. I think that's a fair decision. Really? Mm. What I basically need to do is exit out of the game and, and start it back up again, but I really can't be bothered right now. Not when I've already started the recording. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I literally cannot add him to the lineup. Hmm. There we go. This is something I'll fix before we do the next episode. Basically, I just need to exit out of the game and go back in. I'm just too lazy to do it right now. We're off to a fairly hot start. But, ooh, a shutout for Bruce Poole. Nice. And Dave Stewart was the number one pitcher. Let's continue with another month of quality baseball action. Oh, we are falling behind early. We'll take a quick look at what's going right and what's not going right. We might be in the same situation as last year. I mean, all it's going to take is one team to get hot. And then we're screwed over. I'll quickly look at the player development, see if anyone really shot forward. Not really. Dave LaPointe finally making himself a nice little career in the minors. All right. So our lineup is a bit disappointing. And the pitching staff is, well, the bullpen is a piece of crap. Okay, and the problem is it's almost universal that the entire bullpen sucks. Except for Dave LaRoche. So there's not much I can do to fix that either. So the biggest weakness of the team right now is Tim Raines is off to a really slow start. Way beyond his normal level. Eddie Murray is also struggling a bit. Hmm... I 
I can expect a reasonable level of bounce back from both of these players. And once you do, the lineup will really start cooking. Fortunately, Dom Mattingly and Chili Davis are still very, very good. Um... Why is he so... Why does he look so... Oh, because last year he had almost 400. Or he had over 350. We're already down by seven games. Um, what is New York's deal? Okay, but besides Dwight Evans becoming an absolute genius all of a sudden. I mean, it's a good team with a better bullpen than me, than me to be fair. But the thing is, bullpen isn't a problem I can fix. I'm going to call you out right now, Gentile. If you want to make an impact and stay with the roster, this is the year you've got to make it. I need at least a year as good as you had last year. Um, let's go and just sim four. Because honestly, we're just in this weird spot where the biggest problem is is that some of my better players are just not performing. Which means we just have to trust them and hope they sort it out. Like, this is a normal Von Hayes. This is much worse than normal Von Hayes. So we'll have to see what happens. Off we go. When the lineup gets going again, anything can happen. Uh, like Mike Morgan being injured for two months. Mm. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pitch uh, a man short for five days until Raleigh Fingers comes back. And I'm going to go ahead and slide Budner into the fifth rotation spot. So I'm just going to sim ahead one week, and that should be enough for... God damn it, Schofield. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. Shortstop was not a position I had a lot of strength at. I'm going to go ahead and call up, I guess, Jeff Lawson, and then just let the team just kind of sort itself out. Losing Schofield is going to hurt. Especially since I am not remotely convinced that Greb can handle the job every day. And let's go ahead and generate depth charts. All right, we got Raleigh Fingers back. Right away, you become middle relief and you become set up. So you're gonna become a stopper because I'm gonna I'm gonna ride your arm, damn it! I have hardly gotten any Raleigh Fingers since I signed him. So yeah, he's gonna be a stopper. He's gonna be the break glass in case of emergency pitcher. And between him and Laroche, I think we've got things under control, maybe. All right, come on, guys. We just need to stay competitive until Schofield gets back. Or we could just go on a long losing streak and then fall to fourth place. This, uh, this is the inverse of the last full season we played, where we started out hot and then we just died. Summers dominates up wrong expos. We'll just keep going for... We'll go up to the All-Star break. The thing isn't that we're bad this season. Oh, I've got coaching decisions to make. I totally spaced on that. I'm going to keep this coaching staff together. I 
because they were they're all really good coaches. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it for right now. I mean, I could do better in certain circumstances, but I just don't think it's worth messing with it. I'll tell you who I might replace. I might replace my freaking team trainer. Because he's not great at preventing other team injuries. Hmm. But I might still look. Uh, we'll see what happens with him. Uh, no, I'll just, I'll just, I'll extend him. I don't really want to mess with it. I can always fire people if I dislike them intensely enough. Okay, good. Schofield's back. I can demote Jeff Lawson. Everything isn't quite coming up Millhouse, but it is coming up less shitty. Um, instantly, Schofield back in. Back in. And it's not that Schofield is any great shakes, don't get me wrong. This is simply about the fact that we don't have a good replacement. I oh, know, I needed a lineups overview generate. There we go. See, Dave Stewart, Raleigh Fingers, and Dave LaRoche. How the hell did Raleigh Fingers get the All-Star? I don't know. Chili Davis, uh, chosen as a starter. And no one else from the Blue Jays. That's disappointing. I mean, Dwight Evans is having a really good year, but you couldn't hook up... Uh, Don Mattingly? Hmm. How was Mattingly doing in the voting? <laughs> Not great. Oh, he was third, but he didn't even make the team. Hmm. That's all right. It'll just fuel him for more aggression later on. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to run low on money. And this is mostly because of salaries. Yes, salaries mean less money. That was kind of a dumb thing to say. Yeah, we've spent a lot of money to keep the core around. And so we're starting to feel a bit of a crunch now in terms of cash. I still think we made the right move, so. Almost indubitably. And I think Willie, Willie Wilson, I'm just going to try to trade him now. Can I get anything of even marginal value for him? Get Dave Parker, but he's way too expensive. Reggie Smith, too expensive. Ken Reynolds, not very good. Bake McBride too expensive. Otis Nixon is an interesting choice. He's got some he's got some talent. John Shelby is also a kind of okay hitter. I think I will go ahead and take um, Otis Nixon. Because as a left fielder, I imagine he's actually quite decent. And that is actually a position we're struggling with right now. So I'm going to see if I can get you to toss in another player or two. Roger McDowell. Probably no chance in hell I get him, but I'm going to ask for him. He'd actually think about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the offer. And then we'll proceed. Nah, that's not good enough.
A oh, Bill's actually a better bet in the long term. Can I get him instead? Okay, you'd actually take that deal without too much of a fuss. What about Joe Orsalak? No, you won't give me Joe Orsalak. What about Herm the Winning Ham? You'd want a little bit more. Like, how much more? All players I kind of don't want to golf up. Let's get you to throw in John Shelby. Okay. Done. A nice little three for one deal for players that I think might be useful. And this clears up a clog on the roster for Pat Bone. And then I would like you to generate new depth charts. There we go. If we can start getting the cold parts of our lineup hot, and I don't know what I can do about that. Simmons. Oh, that must be Ted Simmons. Nope. Nope. That's kind of a lousy deal. We're not that bad at right field, are we? Hmm. Is the lineup starting to heat up, or are we still, like, super cold? Tim Raines and Hayes aren't that much better. Yeah, we need another bat. Um, Eddie Murphy has been... He or Murray. I keep calling you Eddie Murphy. That's the comedian. Um... Yeah, we need someone to replace him. Because he is not getting it done. I mean, I'm all for players having mixed contributions. But you're way too young to be selling out on everything. And so I think we'll just go in and advance. The good news is all it's going to take is the right players to get hot at the right time. For Tim Raines to get his shit sorted. No, I don't want Jim Bennett. I mean, he's a decent power hitter who can't play the outfield. I've already got those. Yeah, just stop giving me the same offer every year, California. Okay, Seattle's making me an offer. Now, Rick Adams is a decent infielder. And Dave LaPointe is never going to be very good. Could I get you... Okay, there's no way in hell you'll give me Cecil Fielder. Just for funsies, what would I have to give you? Okay, you won't give me Cecil Fielder. That's fair. What about Sid Fernandez? Nope. What about a Curtis Burke? Is that something you might throw in? Very bad deal. Joe Redfield. Okay, it's a first baseman with some tit tools, so that's useful. Eh, maybe a Greg Table or two. I'm going to make him this offer, and I'm going to see if... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I, I goofed there. I'm not going to get a chance to get that offer through. Damn it. I got greedy. Yep, trade deadline's come and gone. That was entirely my fault. Bobby Castillo picked up a bit. Tom Mattingly keeps getting better, which is good. Um, Pat Bone got a tiny bit better. 
Yeah, Robert Giles is bottomed out. He just doesn't have much else to offer. A shame, but... We're in fourth place and we're ten games over 500. I hate the AL East. Yeah, and they just said no. I can discuss the trade, but everyone would have to clear waivers. Wait a minute, did you just let me make a trade past the deadline? I think I just got to make a trade past the deadline. I think it was because the trade was already pending, so I think that's why they let it go through. Interesting. It's so frustrating because there's just... Ugh. There's so much that could go right. And we'd just be amazing if it happened. I mean, if we look at more, Chili Davis and Don Mattingly are doing their jobs. Tim Raines is starting to... It's starting to heat up a little bit, but it's Eddie Murray. He's just been god-awful. And he's supposed to be an important part of our lineup, and I don't really have an, another person to replace him with right now. This is extremely disappointing. But again, we're still so close to the top. All it's going to take is a good, sustained winning streak. We can rattle off like six or seven wins in a row without injuring people like Tim Freaking Reigns and John. Oh, John Morris will be back soon. Maybe Tim Reigns just needs some time off. Although I grant you, I literally have no one else in sec at second base. I guess it could be Ricky Adams. He can at least play second. You know what, Jay Greb can at least get on base. I'm going to give him a shot at second base. And I'm not even going to let him hit where um, Tim Raines did. Because he can draw walks. And that's very useful in the leadoff spot. This is not unconventional, but it is a bit of a risk. But when no one else and no other middle infielders have like a plus hit tool... It's worthwhile taking a risk. Come on. Just get it done. Start slamming baseballs like I know we can. Another shutout for Poole. Bill McNulty wants to come back. Oh, Mike Smithson wants to come back. How is Mike Smithson this year? He's okay. And okay is good enough that I'd like to try to see if he'll come back. Oh god, he wants all the money. Nope. Mm -mm. I have absolutely no desire to pay that much money. Let's bring Mike Morgan back in. And uh, you can go ahead and do long relief and emergency starting. The bullpen is, is hanging out all right. This is just a question of just making the most of the opportunities. Come on. Start winning baseball games. God damn, would you quit injuring my damn players? Ugh. Sure, Bill. Welcome to the majors. And I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade Raleigh Fingers to... Uh, I'm going to leave him as a stopper. 
and make a secondary role closer because I really don't care who the closer is. Come on. No. Okay, good. Tim Raines gets to come back. Jay Grab's actually been drawing really good walks. It'll be kind of a shame to bench him again, but... Uh, I'll just go ahead and put Reigns back in the lineup. Although, Greb has been... Do I ride the hot hand or do I trust him, Reigns? I think I have to trust him, Reigns. I mean, he is the beating heart and soul of this team. I've got to trust it will be even better with him leading the charge. Or we could go on a mini losing streak right when we needed him to be extra good. We're five games out, but I just don't think we can make it up. I think we're going to fall just short. I'm looking more at the minor leaguers. Any minor leaguers just all of a sudden display a lot of talent? Paul Cherry got quite a bit better. <clears throat> Shit. What are my chances of making plus? 4.9%. If Detroit wins one game or I lose one game, we're out. Let's do it game by game. And I'm already out because I lost. No, I won, but so did Detroit. We won out. We won the games we needed to win, and it didn't freaking matter. Another batting title for Don Mattingly. Holy shit. I'm... Again, the second year in a row, we have the second best record in Major League Baseball, and it counts for absolutely freaking nothing. Dave Stewart was amazing. Um, Chili Davis was crazy good. There's a real chance I might get a couple of awards out of this, but it's not going to bloody matter if I keep not making the playoffs. But there's not much more I can do. We really need to make some kind of major upgrade in the offseason. I think that has to be our focus. Let's see who makes the playoffs. Let's see who wins the World Series. Angels and Cubs... Uh, Jeff Taylor's going to retire. Who cares? The Angels won it all. The Tigers couldn't even win two freaking games. Huh. So next episode, we're going to focus on what we've got, how we can get better. We just have that... Oh, we need that tiny little oomph to push us over the top. And we'll talk about how we might accomplish that next episode. So we wait for the Miners database to be sorted. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. And maybe drop a comment down below. Um, maybe share some sympathy frustration that we've had the best team, the second best team in the American League the past two years. And have nothing to show for it. Not even a playoff appearance. Um... But yeah, until next time, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.